What's up, everybody? It's what Jim, and let's go ahead and do the movie review for Weird, the Al Yankovic story. What the Jim? I'll be talking about the good for this film, then the bad, then, then the verdict. What I rate this film out of 10. And you can also let me know your thoughts on Weird, the Al Yankovic story in the comment section below, but no spoilers, as this is a no spoiler review. However, if you do want to include spoilers, just say in your comment, spoilers ahead. Before I talk about who directed this film and the plot of Weird Al Yankovic's story, I want to talk about my history with Weird Al. I first found out about Weird Al when I was about seven years old, and I've been a fan of his work ever since, really. He was also the first person I ever saw in concert. That was a really, really enjoyable concert. I had, had a blast watch, watching him perform all of his amazing songs. And if you've got a favourite Weird Al song, I'd like to know that in the comment section below as well. My favourite is Between the Saga Begins, which is the first Weird Al song I actually heard, or eBay. So it's, it's one of those two really, The Saga Begins is a parody of American Pie by Don McLean, and eBay is a parody of I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys, which actually I prefer the eBay version of that song. And I'll have the music video for both those songs linked in the description below. Now let's talk about who directed this film and it's directed by Eric Apple who also wrote this film alongside Weird Al himself. Now let's get to the plot of this film. So Weird the Al Yankovic story is an almost completely fictional and highly exaggerated version of Al's life from a kid to a comedian musician that plays an accordion. This film is essentially a spoof on all musical biopics poking fun at the tropes and having, well, a weird fictional adaptation of Al's life. Now I'll talk about the good things I have to say for this film, and I want to start with the story. I really, really did enjoy the story here, of it just being a spoof version of Al's actual life, but going into the movie, I, did, I didn't know it was a spoof on a musical biopic, and I kind of wish I knew that, but it, it did make it more, more of, of a surprise, though. I also found this film very unpredictable, too, which I was very, very pleased to find out about, about the film. I also thought that the acting was done very, very well here, mainly with Daniel Radcliffe as Weird Al, who, in my opinion, did an amazing performance. You, would, you wouldn't think Harry Potter would do that good of a job at playing Weird Al, but he really does an incredible job. They do a really good job of making him look like him, wearing the Hawaiian shirt and having the glasses and the moustache. It's just really, really cool to see. I also think there are some amazing cameos, and moments throughout the duration of this movie, and the length is an hour and 48 minutes. I think it's just the right length, in my opinion. Maybe it could have been a couple of minutes shorter, but I also think that the side characters are good for the most part, and the songs, including in this movie, are really, really amazing. You've, you've got some of your favourite Weird Al songs here, but I don't want to spoil which, which ones are included in the movie, so you, you can find out about that yourself. And I loved how unique and ambitious this, this, this movie was, it really was just trying to be as weird as it possibly could be. I also found this film funny and absolutely hilarious. At times, definitely is a humorous film. Overall, I just had a blast with this movie, and it's one of my favourite film experiences of this year, and one of my favourite films of this year. I think it's just a really, really fun film. So when I move on to the bad, and the first thing I'll say about it, I sort of touched upon this in... The good, which is, I didn't know that this was a spoof on musical biopics until about, about midway through the film. The trailer didn't say that this is a spoof, I don't think, and it definitely didn't say it in, in the film either. It could have said, this film is based on a true story. Not. I think I think that would have been a better approach for this. I also don't think the ending's perfect either. I don't think the ending's terrible, but I, but I don't think it's great either. And th there, were, there were also a handful of times when the movie goes black for a few seconds and then it goes back to to film the film cup coming on so in my opinion the editing in that part could have been done better. I also think there should have been more Weird Al songs here. Some of my favourites they did miss out on unfortunately here but they couldn't have included every single song. I'll now move on to the verdict and I'll recommend this film to people who like Weird Al and his music and to people who like spoofs and comedies as well. I would rate this film an 8.5 out of 10. I highly recommend to watch it. 
as it's just such an enjoyable movie. Also in the description below, I've also got a Weird Al compilation album on Spotify. This isn't an album that I've made up. It's one that actually does exist. And it's got pretty much all my favourite Weird Al songs on. And I highly recommend to listen to it as it's a really, really great essential Weird Al album. And hope, hopefully you enjoyed my, my review on Weird Al Yankovic story. And again, you could let you could let me know your thoughts on the film in the comment section below with no spoilers, as there's no spoiler review. But if you do want to include spoilers in your comment, then just put in your comment, spoilers ahead. Before we conclude the video though, there's a couple more things I want to say. First of which is in the description below, I've got a couple of song parodies I've written, and they are for The Drifts Don't Work, which is the Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled parody of The Drugs Don't Work by The Verb. And I've also got Instant Karma, which which is a parody of Instant Karma by John Lennon. And I would love to know your thoughts on those parodies that, I, that I've written and which one of, of the two is your favourite. The other thing I want to say is I also, when I went to the Weird Al concert, bought these pack of Weird Al limited edition cards that you'll be seeing. A picture, maybe even a video of, of the cards now. There's quite a lot of cards in total, I can't remember. How many there are though, but probably my favourite one is, is one either with him in, in the recording studio or the Jurassic Park one. I'm a big fan of that one as well. Now I'll go ahead and conclude the video and I thank you for all of you watching and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. Peace and love, stay safe, take care. I hope, hope you're all doing well and until next time, stay weird everyone and ciao.